What's up guys? It's Black River Rider. Just met up with my buddy. Going for a little ride through the country, which all of this is country, but oh, there's something burning over there. Which all of this is country, but it's Memorial Day. We wanted to go do some riding since we we're both off. Pretty hot today, but not too bad. Yeah, we just ride enjoying the day. We we're trying to get some more people to come and ride with us, but I guess they had other plans. Where's the turn at? Oh, it's right there. I'll sneak up on you on it. Oh, got somebody else out riding today. Yeah, well, this is White Lake right here at least well this is the camper trailer park it's on one side of it but we're about to get to where you can see water here in a minute but this is about the extent of white lake what you're seeing right here there's Goldston's Beach, which I would not go swimming there. If you're anybody from around this area, will all agree. Mostly people that are like coming from Raleigh and the mountains, places like that, different, a couple of different states, probably that don't really know about White Lake that much that go swimming there. Somebody left a bra down there on the side of the road. <laughs> Dag on. Didn't see anybody coming. Wallace from this way. New territory for me. Well, this is Wallace. God, it looks like Chabern. Looks just like Chabern. I swear. Like I'm on 701 right now, heading south through Chabern. I can. I don't really know where I'm at. I mean, where I'm gonna be going, but. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a straight shot on this road right here. Where are we going next? Uh, it'll take us through uh, Rose Hill. It'll take us through Warsaw. Oh, this is uh. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting a little hungry. We're gonna have to stop. Hmm. Coming back into Rose Hill. There's Duplin Winery. We passed it before, but I didn't really realize. That's where all the Duplin wine is made. Right back there. Or this area, anyway. So when you see that in the grocery store, now you know where it's from. I'm 
head up to the town hall evidently he said they've got the world's largest frying pan oh hell I see it right there <laughs> Huh. All right, we're gonna pull over right here. Go check this thing out. <laughs> All right. And my bike won't fall over. Do what? Yeah, I. I think I might have. I, I can't remember. When was it? Right before we got to the winery. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> World's largest frying pan, huh? What brand is that? Is this like an actual thing or is it like a gag? Or... <laughs> hmm. Ramsey Feed Company of Rose Hill used during the first Rose Hill Poultry Jubilee. Hmm. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> that is a big ass frying pan. Look at that thing. There it go. 365 chickens. Well, that's it. Dang, man. Yep. Not bad. Well. Two tons. Two tons, huh? Mm -hmm. There's your brother riding by. Huh? There's your brother riding by. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. I've never seen that before. The world's largest frying pan. Only in the south, right? Oh. I've got to put my phone back in my cradle. Oh, well. As you can see, there isn't a lot out here. Just kind of nature of the beast living out in the country. We're just retracing our steps basically from uh, from where we were headed back home now. So we'll bring this video to a close. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you.